हेलो स्टूडेंट माई सर दिगन सखी वाला आई एम योर साइंस सर टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट न्यू चैप्टर द फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ डियर स्टूडेंट वेन एवर वी हैव एनी मेडिकल प्रॉब्लम दैन डॉक्टर एडवाइज टू डू द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ टेस्ट इन दैट दे टेल अस टू डू द ब्लड टेस्ट सो वैन द ब्लड रिपोर्ट कम एट दैट टाइम डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ सेल्स आर दर लाइक आर बी एस सी डब्ल्यू बी सी ओके सो वॉट इज आर बी सी रेड ब्लड सेल डब्ल्यू बी सी मीन्स वॉट वाइट ब्लड सेल same way in our body so many type of cells are there so our body is included in the multicellular organism okay so one by one we will see about uh, about the cell okay with the history in the year 1665 robert hooke saw that the cock resemble the structure of a honeycomb consisting of a little components okay so first time in 1665 robert hooke examined the cock tree and from that he examined that the cock tree the inner structure of cock tree is like a honeycomb type little room type and from that he gave the word cellula cellula means little room like structure and cellula to the word come cell robert who called the this box is cell cell is a latin word for a little room the use of the word cell to describe this unit is being used till this day in the biology now also we will use the word what cell in the biology what are living organism made up of okay so living organism made up of what dear student whenever we have to examine something we have to use microscope so we have different type of microscopes are there that we will discuss first robert hook used that is a simple microscope that is a magnifying glass that is a convex lens okay convex lens means what their two outer side is reflecting like uh, you are going outside and you try to burn the papers or skin that is a magnifying glass so robert hook used that after that compound microscope come in existence compound microscope in that uh, two lenses are there one is called object piece lens okay or objective lens object uh, piece lens or objective lens is towards the object which is kept on the slide and other lens is the eye piece lens eye piece lens is towards the eye dear student here the both the lens objective lens or the eye piece lens both are the made up of a convex lens okay now latest technology in that we have two another microscope are there that is called stm that is the scanning tunneling microscope and afm that is atomic force microscope they totally work on nanotechnology it is not in your syllabus so to examine anything what happen we take the slide on that we take the sample like blood then we take on the uh, we take on the slide and then we cover with the cover slip cover slip slip is very small okay and then we examine by the object piece lens to, and by that eye piece lens we can see the magnifying image okay let us take a small piece from a onion bulb with the help of a pair of forceps peel the skin from the concave side of onion put it on the slide so we are going to examine about the onion cell for that we take the epidermis layer epidermis layer means outer layer that we will take out and we will put on the slide okay we put a drop of saffronine solution on this piece followed by the cover slip okay so what happen here we use a saffronine solution saffronine solution is a colorful solution if we try to see the onion cell or uh, if we try to examine the onion epidermis is layer then it is not visible why because light is also white and the onion layer is also white so it is not properly visible to colorize it we use the saffronine solution we observe through compound microscope cells of onion peel these cells of onion peel will all look the same regardless of the size of the onion okay so when we examine the onion cell then they all looking same but their size is somewhat different means somewhat different otherwise they all are looking same all organism that we made up of a cell most of the all the organisms are that they are made up of cell okay the invention of magnifying lens lead to the discovery of the microscopic world so magnifying glass from that simple microscope come in the existence simple microscope after that compound microscope 
and compound microscope to nowadays we have STM and AFM atomic force microscope and scanning tunneling microscope. Lewin Hawk with uh, with the improved microscope discovered free living cell. So Lewin Hawk from the improved microscope he discovered the free living cell. Okay. Robert Brown in 1831 discovered the nucleus in the cell. So nucleus is present in the cell which contain DNA and RNA or deoxyribonucleic acid and ribonucleic acid. That is very important for the inherent characteristic in you and your parents. Perkinje coined the word in 1839 is called the protoplasm. So liquid fluid type of part part is present that was coined by the Perkinje in 1839 which is called protoplasm fluid in the cell. Then after cell theory was given by the Skeldin 1838 and Scon 1839. Another scientist Vikro 1855 expand the theory by suggestion the all cell are exist from the pre exist cell. Okay, so Vikro suggested that in 1855 that all the cells are exist because of the pre exist cell. So from one cell, two cell are obtained. From two cell, four cell are obtained. That is called the cell. Uh, that is called the regular cell division. By the discovery of electron microscope 1940, it is possible to observe and understand complex structure of the cell and organal so by the electron microscope we can still examine many things okay and that was the discovered in 1940 if organism is made up of single cell is called the unicellular organism example amoeba chlamydomonas paramecium and bacteria okay if the organism is made up of a one type of cell like amoeba paramecium okay then they are called the unicellular organism and if the organism is made up of uh, more than different type of cells then that is called the multicellular egg organism and example is fungi plant and animals we are also example of the multicellular organism dear student here we are going to learn about the cell okay and different function of the cell smooth muscle cell blood cell nerve cell ovum bone cell sperm fat cell so they are some human cell they have different shape and size as well as they have different function okay the shape and size of the cells are related the specific function they perform okay so size and shape it also determine that what is the function of that like nervous cell it is a, a largest cell in the human body because to send the message to uh, to sense the senses okay uh, it is very useful some shape like the amoeba have changing shapes in some cases the cell shape could be more or less fixed and particular type of cell for example now cell have the typical shape okay so we know that amoeba is a unicellular organism means only one cell is present so it can change the any type of shape okay so it has not particular fixed shape but you can see that according to condition or uh, according to the uh, function the shape and size of the cells are different like example is now cell okay as well as you can see the sperm cell also uh, even blood cell also and bone cell and the fat cell okay cell perform basic function like digestion excretion and sensation and different thing okay cell our body is made up of different type of cell and so the all the part of the organ they contain different type of cell okay all cell meet together then make the tissue and all the tissue make come together then they make the organs okay so their function is also different like stomach are there they function to digest like nervous cells are there they, their, their function is to sense and respond okay excretion are there in that they remove the waste products okay so all the organ they have the different type of cells are there and they have the different type of function are there and they have the different type of shape and size are there the human body has heart to pump the blood so they are called the cardiac muscles are present in the heart they pump the blood okay they have different type of function they have different type of shape and size a stomach to digest the food stomach has tendons uh, stomach characteristic is to digest the food okay so it has also different shape and size of the cells are there and for its function character characterization is totally different cell organelles 
dear students cell in that some organs are present some function component are there okay in the cell the another component are there they have the fixed function that is called the cell organelle each cell has get certain specific component within it known as a cell organelles okay like mitochondria are there or we can say that uh, golgi bodies are there okay plastids are there lysosomes are there so different component has a different characteristic or different functions are there each kind of cell organelle perform a specific function such as making new material in the cell cleaning the waste material from the cell okay so all the cell has property all the cell have property to create the new material even they have property to clean the waste material okay a cell is able to live and perform all its function because of this organelle okay so because of this cell organelle in the cell also the components are present that is all cell organelle and because of that reason the cell has a uh, uh, cell is able to live and perform all its function these all organ organelles together constitute the basic unit called cell okay so these all cell organelles are the mitochondria golgi body endoplasmic rat reticulum they all together and they make the cell it is interesting that all cells are found to have same organelles no matter what their function is or what organism they are found in or the same organelles okay so all cell are having same organelles and no matter that what their function is or what organism they are found in okay so it is not matter that in which organism they are found in like different type of animal they found in and what is the function of that cell organelle so this is all about the introductory part of the fundamental unit of life that is cell thank you so much